TZ. Welcome, Royal British Legion Brass Band. We have visitors here from Harwich, UK. And with me is Anthony Sanders, who is the music director of the Royal Legion, the Royal British Legion Brass Band. And also, Brian Harmer, who is the treasurer. Um, thank you for coming uh, to Harwich. Well, it's uh, great for us to be here. And uh, a little bit of contention there. We've been watching these interviews over the last <laughs> couple of months on Channel 18. And uh, with you, where you say Harwich, we actually say Harwich. But, of course, it's all one and the same. So yes, we're well, pleased we, to be here. We are sisters, sister cities, and we love it. I'd like to introduce uh, Larry Cole. Everyone knows Larry Cole. What everyone knows is wrong. <laughs> no, Larry, I love you. <laughs> Larry Cole is the chairperson of the town uh, committee welcoming the, the uh, band here, and also our, our lovely Jewel Buckwald, who has been helping you, who's your right hand. Would you say mm -hmm. that? Yes. We're going to find out a little bit about the Royal British Legion Brass Band, their visit here. They've been planning this visit for almost two years, is that right? Two years is absolutely correct. And those years have flown by, believe me. Uh, and we're, we really are sincerely thrilled to have you here, and we hope you are having a good time. Uh, Jewel, tell us a little bit about, I know you might have been instrumental in helping um, this tour and uh, attracting the folks here to our town. Would you like to elaborate on that? Well, I will just say, as many of you know, that I have been a liaison with our sister town since 1980, when contingents from the Harch Society came to visit on official visits. Uh, I have formed close relationships. I'm not sure that I really had anything to do <laughs> with this tour, other than I was asked to uh, join the committee and perhaps uh, express some of my interest and what happens between the two towns so that people would become somewhat familiar. Um, and I guess that's my involvement. I have tried to help. I've tried to become involved in the activities that have been planned. Um, and that's basically what my and involvement Larry, is. And Larry, what, what, what has been your involvement with the folks? Well, I've, I've been the chair uh, or coordinator of the committee for the past several months. And Jewel is being much too modest. Uh, she's researched and written um, a, a background paper on the relationships between the two communities uh, over the years and also very involved in setting up the tea that's going to be held mm. tomorrow afternoon at the Pilgrim Congregational Church hosted by the Harwich Women's Club for one of the ladies, the wives of one of the musicians traveling with the band, mm -hmm. uh, Georgina uh, Cooper Keeble. Uh, she is a member of a family that was adopted by the Harwich Women's Club in 1949. Mm -hmm. And what Jewel and Beth Nightingale and Gail Marshall of our committee uh, and the present members of the Harwich Women's Club have done is organized a tea at the Pilgrim Congregational Church. And they've actually identified a couple of people in the community mm -hmm. who are uh, relatives of the women who were in the club at that mm -hmm. time. And they're going to meet with her. Anthony. Or can I call you ants? Yeah, but that's what they said, <laughs> 10 to a band, that's for sure. <laughs> I think Larry's got used to that as well. That, is, that, <laughs> is that your uh, email address, A-N-T-S? No, that's just what they call me in the band. It's a little nickname. Well, okay, we'll live with that. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, prompted the, 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 the tour here? And uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, band. And also, I understand that you're also traveling with some members from the Portsmouth Royal British Legion Brass Band. So give us a little background. Well, we are. Okay, so a bit of a sad story as well, actually, because the person who was instrumental in setting up the tour initially uh, was one of our band, band members called Sandra Lester. And she initially made contact with Peter Cobb of the Harwich Town Band and um, sort of put forward the idea of maybe us visiting. And mm. uh, before we knew it, uh, it, it, was, <laughs> it was all go. Yeah. Two years ago, and we set up a tour working party. And we have a link in the UK, we call it a sister band, if you like, um, with another Royal British Legion brass band mm -hmm. from Portsmouth. Oh. Um, Harwich is on the east coast mm -hmm. and Portsmouth is on the south coast. Okay. Anyone knows the geography of the UK? Yes. Um, Portsmouth is just by the Isle of Wight mm -hmm. at the bottom and it's a big, big naval town oh. as well. So uh, that's how the link came about through the British Legion 
And um, we got great friends there. And mm -hmm. we thought, well, we want to take a really good band away with us. And uh, we thought we'd ask them. And between us, uh, we've put together 52 members to wow. come. Wow to come here. The band is 36 strong and we have obviously the, the bulk, uh, the balance of people who come support us. I was going to ask you, who are the members of the band uh, in your area? Are they um, musicians, uh, res local people? How do you form the band and how do you keep it uh, supplied with members and band, ma band musicians? Okay, yeah, that's, good. that's a good question. We, when I started with the band about 11 years ago now, um, it was made up of uh, local people, um, but like many things, and I don't know if it's the same in, the, in America, but uh, things are dying and um, you know, there aren't the uh, musicians coming through. Mm. So we realized um, from a very early stage that we had to produce our own uh, musicians. And again, another sad uh, story was uh, a young chap of nine years old, uh, very unfortunately died of cancer. Mm. And his uh, family asked the band to do a memorial concert in his name to raise funds for a charity, which we did. And on the back of that, there were so many children who came along to that concert wanted to learn a brass instrument. So oh, wow. we set up a what we call an apprentice band, if mm -hmm. you like, a, a beginner's band. Um, but that didn't do the trick. So we then had to, from there, set up a music school, which mm -hmm. has now been running eight years. And that uh, meets, on, as in school term, on a Saturday morning. And we run uh, from nine o'clock to one o'clock. And through that, now I, th I would say probably getting off about half of our band is made up of people and uh, youngsters and adults as well who have started through the music school and that's, that's how it's developing on and we have a very very strong band now, now do you oversee all of this um i head the music school but the, the band members of the band the main band actually teach within the music school it's run with, with completely within our own band so i i'm obviously there doing it i'm mm -hmm. a qualified musician and a professional mm -hmm. musician there but uh, i head the music school but the teaching side is done all from members of our own band mm -hmm. and what is also fantastic it's the young people as well who are now feeding back into the music into, school yeah. well. and uh brian um i understand how how the mus musical end of this operates but is there a little business operation going on here and do you have anything to do with that <laughs> I have a great deal to do with this, <laughs> and, uh, it, it, it very much is like running a small business. Mm. Um, we're we're self-funding, self uh, so any, everything we do we have to try and um, accrue some funds to, to make sure that the, the band remains viable. Uh, we do charity concerts, because clearly with the Royal British Legion, that um, one of the uh, charities that we obviously mm -hmm. support is the, the annual or the poppy appeal and so we will do charity concerts that will raise money for that. Yeah. Um, quite clearly some of the revenue we need to, to develop ourselves and there are concerts that we will do that are absolutely free of charge. Um, but we do have quite considerable overheads. Mm. Uh, the, um, the, 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 the turnover is thousands and thousands mm. of pounds per, per annum. Um, and we obviously work very hard, we have a very, very busy schedule. Um, it keeps the bands very, very busy. Yeah. They, they, don't tend to moan too much, but yeah. um, they, they are very, very supportive of, of what we're doing. Uh, the Royal Legion, uh, the Royal British Legion, um, uh, su uh, supports you in, uh, or you are members of the Royal British Legion. And I understand uh, most towns in uh, the UK, um, or many towns, do have bands and they are also uh, members of the Royal British Legion. So, I mean, y it isn't just this particular uh, group. Uh, um, there are many more that are... There are, there are British Legion bands across the country. Mm. Um, not that many. Oh. Not that many. I mean, brass bands are a very traditional form of music making in the UK, um, mm. dating back to about the mid-1800s. Uh, from mainly industry, from mm -hmm. the, the mining industry and the fabric industry. That's where they started. Um, but nearly every town, village ha used to have a brass band. As I say, many are dying now, unfortunately, yeah. because the players aren't coming through. But we like to think we are very strong. And, uh, you know, and the, the, the British Legion, is, we think, is a, is a very strong point of our band, that mm -hmm. we are associated with this organisation, which is uh, recognised nationally. Are you going to be doing anything to celebrate the 90th anniversary of the Royal British Legion? Is there anything proposed? Most certainly. Yeah. We, we, we annually do a, a concert uh, towards the end of the year, October and in November, mm -hmm. that's dedicated to the, the Poppy Appeal and the Royal British Legion. But this year we are, are putting on a 90th anniversary concert in October. Mm -hmm. And a, apart from our band, we're involving a, um, 
a Harry, the, the Harry's Royal British Legion pipe band. There's a bagpipe and drum band oh. uh, in, in Harridge as well. They've been invited along. Mm. And we have uh, an, an excellent residential school uh, nearby us um, at Holbrook. And uh, we're getting a band, their band to come and join us wow. and their drum corps to come and join us. Mm. Uh, and it's being held in one of the premier theatres in, in a local seaside town. Uh, so we're, we're planning mm. that. That's going to be our next project as soon as oh. we return to the UK. That's, that's what we'd be looking well, at. Well, we are very privileged uh, to have the uh, Harwich Royal uh, British Legion Brass Band and the Portsmouth. Yes, yes, RBL Victory Band, they're called. Okay. RBL Victory Band. Mm -hmm. uh, visiting here in Harwich. Well, welcome. We want to welcome some of our British band players that will be performing this evening at the Tech School. You probably won't see this until later in the week. But anyway, we want to introduce, most of all, Chloe. Because when we started working on our program a year and a half ago, we knew someone was coming with the group, but we weren't quite sure that there was going to be an addition. But we weren't quite sure. And lo and behold, a few months ago, we heard that Chloe had joined the band. And she's just a beautiful little girl. And maybe her mommy would like to say something. Yeah, certainly. Um, yeah, well, when we started planning our trip to the US, Chloe was um, not even thought of. So she's very much a late addition um, and was just down as Baby Williams for most of the planning for this concert. Okay, would you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Tom. Um, part of the Harwich part of the band, obviously two bands that come together. Um, been with the band for two years, uh, I play trombone. Um, really enjoyed um, seeing different parts of America, I've travelled to America before, but always to cities and things like that. So really enjoying culture, food, great people, great company. Thank you, Thank you very much. And you wanted to say something, Chloe? Hello, I'm Ellie. I've been playing for the band now for probably about eight years. Um, I play cornet. Um, our trip so far has been really, really good. Um, we've been very, very well looked after. It's been amazing. So, and the weather is brilliant as well. Is this your first trip to America? Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. And you're enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's brilliant. Very good. Well, enjoy the rest of your stay, and we look forward to your performance. Um, I'm Craig. Uh, I've been in the band for about ten years. Uh, my dad's a conductor and I play percussion, so I've been brought up around it for all my life, so yeah. So that's wonderful, that's wonderful. We've enjoyed you and we won't introduce your dad again because he was on earlier. So, But thank you all so very much for joining us and uh, enjoy your stay in Howitch. Thank you.